fasting if you want to look then you have to adjust the long acting bedtime long acting or pre dinner intermediate acting or pre mix insulin in the night so this will take care of your fasting sugar so you have to look at these insulins if you want to adjust the break bar break post breakfast sugar then you have a pre breakfast short acting you have to adjust suppose your post breakfast sugar is high then adjust the rapid acting insulin in the morning before the breakfast or morning pre mix or other sugars during the day are within the range then you have to use the morning pre mix to adjust but if you are getting hypoglycemia in the pre lunch then you can't adjust the morning pre mix remember this point very clearly pre lunch again if your pre lunch sugars are high then you have to you can increase the morning pre mix or intermediate acting insulin if your post lunch sugar is high then you can adjust the short acting insulin which you are giving before the lunch or if you are giving a high pre mix like 50 50 you can adjust that if your patient is taking that or you can you increase the intermediate acting so morning slight increase can help sometimes post lunch sugar but generally it is the uh, pre short lunch short acting insulin which might have extra shot might help if your pre dinner sugar is high pre dinner sugar then you have going to adjust the pre mix insulin which you are giving in the morning or you have to give a maybe you some extra shot high acting 50 50 insulin which you are giving in the lunch time also you can adjust a dose tweak a little the pre dinner sugar will come under control if post dinner sugar is high then you have to give a short acting insulin which you are giving in the night has to be adjusted or the pre mix insulin which you are giving in the night adjusted as for the fasting do not just keep adjusting as depend on the post dinner sugar look at your fasting sugar simultaneously because if you keep increasing the to adjust the post dinner sugar the 3070 insulin your fasting sugar will go very low patient will get hypoglycemia now sometimes you have to switch from basal bolus to premix so four shots if patient says i don't want four shot one basal three premix uh, three uh, short acting i don't want to do it please doctor change the insulin so we can give a two shots of premix insulin by reducing the dose to 20 by 32% so if the total dose patient is taking 20 suppose he is taking basal and he is taking 666 units of uh, the bolus insulin that is 18 units that and 20 units of basal 38 units you first reduce the dose by 20% so that you reduce the dose to around 32 units and then split the dose to 50 50 so which you can do so 30 to 16 in the morning 16 in the night and use analog insulin for that right this is the way you will split and start giving the patients insulin so this is how you will give the premix insulin so when you are giving premix insulin once daily it is a total basal dose so if you are giving 16 units in a dinner time use that as a basal insulin but if you are using two times pre mixes 16 16 in the morning 16 in the morning 16 in the evening then use the total 80% of the basal dose as a basal dose this is how you should uh, use the insulin from pre mix to long acting basal insulin this is how you should convert so from pre mix to basal insulin so patient is going to from pre mix to basal insulin because the sugars are not under control one pre mix if you are giving 12 units it becomes a 12 units directly gradual insulin but if you are giving 2 unit 12 unit 12 in the morning 12 units in the evening that is 24 units take the 80% out of that and use it as a basal insulin right so this is how you convert because you are using 3070 insulin 70% is a long acting component use 80% of it becomes a glargin or a long acting insulin so 18 units if you are using premix total it becomes 10 units of glargin 22 units of you are using it becomes 12 units of glargin so this is how you will calculate the formula is premix total dose into 0.7 into 0.8 it becomes a long acting insulin for you so once you get a long acting insulin then you can act, calculate the short acting how you can calculate the short acting suppose that your long acting insulin is 18 then your short acting insulin will also be 18 in three divided doses that is 666 your long acting insulin is 34 so this is long acting insulin but your short acting insulin will be three divided doses of this so it will be around or uh, maybe 11 11 11 units or 12 11 11 units three times a day this is how you will convert from two premixes to basal and bolus so this is how we do it in the clinical practice and i talked about basal versus premix the it is good to have a two premixes but, but you have a less flexibility and always a risk of hypoglycemia patient preference is important patients who are having a fixed meal times use premix is good patients who are lifestyle is not fixed don't use there will be some problem or other there will be hypoglycemia patients who are uh, you know not very comfortable in monitoring too much then can't use basal pre pre patients who are comfortable use basal bolus